What's up, Leos? Do me a favor and just trust yourself, trust your intuition because you are watching this moon reading for a reason. This is your moon message for the first quarter moon in Sagittarius. So this is a love reading. We're gonna see who's popping up in your love energy. And as always, we're pre-paving clarity, the ultimate right answers, accuracy coming through these cards. So first quarter moons come in between a new moon and a full moon. This is like when we're revving up towards a manifestation. Then Sagittarius energy is the archer, eternal optimist. So this is really the energy of revving up towards a desire, a manifestation. And in terms of love, this is really the collective energy of someone that's really trying to manifest you, Leo. So let's see who's in this energy for you. What's popping up for Leo in love? Okay. The good lot. Okay. So this is a really good person. It could be a, a man. Of, I don't know. If you are a man watching this and you're straight and wondering about a woman, this could definitely be letting you know that this person looks at you is like very favored. This person very much likes you. I'm getting that this person's a good person, though. Whoever's in your love energy is a genuinely good person. Also, you know, fifth house rules over Leo. I'm noticing that five there. And Leo rules over the heart chakra. So I feel like this is someone that's very much attached to your heartstrings. Let's get more for Leo. What does Leo need to see about this person and their love energy for the first quarter moon in Sag? What does Leo need to see? Two of Wands in reverse. They're telling me to take the three at the top. I usually just let them fly out, but I felt very called to take those three. Two of Wands is Aries energy, Three of Swords is the Libra energy, and the Four of Swords is Libra energy. So the Two of Wands in reverse, this is, it's kind of like blowing potential. Cause upright, it's like, he's got the whole world in his hands, all the potential in the world. Look at what I can conquer energy. So in reverse, it's like, yeah, I blew all that. Um, the Three of Swords, yeah, this really makes sense. This is like a heart-wrenching energy, a heartbreak energy. Something really awful happened in terms of love or a relationship. And then we have the Four of Swords, which is just kind of like mellowing out after that, the calm after the storm, meditative energy. But it's interesting on this card, this dude is like, this creature like hurt himself with this sword. So I feel like this is, it's still supposed to be a calm card. He's still kind of sitting down energy, but it's, it's definitely calm after a heartbreak. Um, the two of one. Yeah. I feel like someone broke your heart, Leo. That's kind of what I'm getting with this. I feel like someone broke your heart. I feel like they didn't even mean to with the two of wands in reverse. It's just like they squandered a good opportunity with you. Um, and it's kind of like, they, what now? What do I do now? Energy. Give me more for Leo. What does Leo need to see with this energy? What energy is coming towards Leo that they need to see? Mountain goals. Okay. Relationship goals, I'm hearing. I feel like someone wants to, I don't want to say the word conquer you, but I kind of do. Like someone wants to conquer you or it's like someone is, they want to go the distance with you. They really want to like figure something out with you. Let's make that not so clumpy. Give me more for Leo. Mountains to me signify achievement. We have bull resistance, but there, you know, the resistance might be coming from you, Leo. You know, maybe this person broke your heart and you're like, yeah, no, not today. We're not going to do that. I like that the moon is coming out on that and the sun. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting though that this is someone, I feel like they broke your heart, but they want to try again. And it, it could be also with the resistance card that they don't want to outright tell you that, but they kind of do low key. It's like low key, I want to try again, but I don't want to put myself out there and tell you that. But at the same time, it's interesting because the good Lord is coming out. So I feel like they have good intentions, but again, they could also look at you this way as someone that's a very good person. And maybe it's like, I'm sorry that I broke your heart. I'm willing to try this again, but I'm too much of a pussy to actually tell you that. Tell me more for Leo and what Leo needs to see as a result of this. This seems kind of like the aftermath of something really crazy. 
Trapped. Okay. That's interesting. Give me more for Leo. The second one. Breakups and makeups. Yeah, I really get that this is someone you broke up with. Or there was a breakup involved with you and this person. Know your worth. Yeah, Leo, I feel like this person broke your heart. Um, there was definitely a breakup. You know what? I really wanted to take the bottom one and look what's on the bottom. Healing. Next to drama. So, I don't feel like you were the only person. Like, I feel like this person broke your heart, Leo, but you weren't the only person that got hurt here. This person also got hurt. It's also like when I broke your heart, I broke my heart. I'm kind of getting that twofold energy with the two of wands here. Like this person made a really stupid mistake. And I, I think they're too embarrassed to admit it. Honestly, I feel like there's too much shame surrounding it. So they're kind of trapped in their own energy. I kind of get that with the four of swords too. But what they really want is to conquer this beast with you. Um, yeah, I, I feel like they're a little, it's like an ashamed energy. Like I'm too sorry to tell you I fucked up. So hopefully you're going to come towards me and do something. Like I kind of get a, that energy. Give me something else for Leo. What does Leo need to see through the charms? Oh my gosh. I'm going to take this one out too. So we have love coming out on top of breakups and makeups. Yeah, this person's in love with you. I feel like when, when you play me, you play yourself. Like, I don't know if you know that Beyonce song, Don't Hurt Yourself, but that's the energy I'm getting. Like, this person played themselves, Leo. Be you. I love that that's coming out on top of Know Your Worth. Yeah, and it's being you that has this person up and just, a craze like it's driving them up the wall they don't know what to do yeah because you're this coveted prize this like crystal prize that's i love that the dragon's claw is holding this because it's very coveted and sacred but at the same time i feel like that's what they feel like it's like getting to you like the knight trying to fight the dragon so leo i feel like this person's got it's like they're kind of a pussy when it comes to telling you how they feel but you already feel that intuitively is what i'm getting Give me more for Leo and this person. Of course, we have the moon. So this moon phase is definitely going to be significant with this connection. The moon and Gemini. This person definitely could be a Gemini. I'm getting that with maybe they are a twin. With this kind of twin energy with the two of wands. Um, the moon and Gemini, they definitely want to communicate. And I feel like with the moon being very intuitive and spiritual, it's like they're communicating through their soul. Maybe through this reading. Eighth house is about death and rebirth resurrection yeah they definitely want to resurrect resurrect if i could talk this leo breakups and makeups but the universe is reminding you you are very worthy you're very special they're trying to come after you for a reason leo so just make sure that they're worth it so i hope this resonated thank you so much for watching leo and i will catch you in the next moon phase reading during the waxing gibbous